Hey friend, it's Sunday again, and I'm in the mood for some creamy, cheesy pasta and some spicy, crunchy, crispy fried fish. So if you wanna see how I made this fried whiting and Cajun pasta, you know what to do. Go ahead and keep watching. Now I've already gone ahead and thawed out my frozen whiting fillets, rinsed them off, and just let them sit in a little bit of ice cold water with a little bit of salt. And I'm ready to coat uh, these fillets with a cornmeal mix. So I threw some cornmeal, flour, garlic powder, pepper, salt, and some cayenne pepper all into one mix. And I'm just tossing every individual piece into this mix, coating it completely before I let it sit and allow it to get a nice crunchy exterior. Now, I think it's pretty obvious at this point how much I love shrimp and seafood, so I wasn't going to make this dish without it. So I am marinating my shrimp in some freshly squeezed lemon juice, olive oil, just a sprinkle of Cajun seasoning, and um, black pepper. So I really want the flavor to um, penetrate the shrimp while it sits and waits. So I'm tossing some crushed peppers, fresh parsley, and spicy mustard always does the trick. Let's make this pasta while we wait for that shrimp. I'm tossing in some chicken broth into some boiling water before boiling my pasta to an al dente texture. And I'm ready for some sauce. In a nice and sizzly pan of melted butter, I'm tossing in some fresh chopped onions and garlic just so I can season the bottom of that pot, get all those flavors in there before I even add my heavy cream. Tossing that around, letting my onions and garlic sweat down until they're nice and soft. And just for a pop of flavor and color, I love to add some freshly sliced red bell pepper into the pan as well. I'm gonna let this saute and soak up all of that flavor from the garlic and onion and butter before I add everything else. Up oh, there goes that reduced sodium chicken broth again. I'm adding just a little, a few splashes of that to the pot as well, just to continue to make that sauce base nice and flavorful without adding too much um, seasoning or salt to it. Now that our sliced peppers are nice and tender, let's go ahead and toss in some freshly chopped parsley. And if you're not weird like me, please don't add your parsley in while it's still on the knife. That is very dangerous. Don't do that, please. Don't do that. so that broth base is getting nice and thick my peppers are cooked down so let's get the rest of this cream base together by tossing in some butter and tossing that around to wake everything right up before we add in our heavy cream the last thing we need is for this uh, creamy pasta sauce to get all clumpy so I'm gonna reduce the heat on my stove underneath this pan and keep it on a nice low to medium heat while I stir the heavy cream into all of that good flavor that I just built off of my garlic, onions, and pepper. Everything's starting to get nice and bubbly, so let's add in some shaven Parmesan cheese a little bit at a time. Or if you are obsessed with cheese like me, um, you're going to add a lot of cheese at a time. Just sparsely, make sure you take time to stir in um, the cheese every time you add a little bit and not too much at one time. shrimp we 
left marinating on the side while we're making our sauce. Now it's time to get it nice and brown for that sauce. So I'm putting about two tablespoons of butter into a skillet pan and tossing that around the bottom of the pan before I put in my shrimp. It's not going to take too long to cook, so I don't want to make it too hot, but I do want to get it nice and brown on each side for about two to three minutes at a time. Our shrimp is nicely sauteed off to the side, so let's add our cooked pasta into this creamy Cajun sauce and mix everything together. Now just a quick side tip, um, I personally do not cook my pasta all the way if I know I'm going to be tossing it into some sauce. Um, so I cook it um, just enough to make it al dente because I don't want to overcook it through the uh, mixing process. Let's get into this whiting, shall we? I'm going to heat up my oil up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit get it nice and hot before tossing in some of those fillets into my Dutch oven pot and I'm gonna wait until it's a nice golden brown color I love crispy crunchy food um, so I'm just gonna keep it in there until I see um, my fish turn nice and golden brown or if you have a thermometer you can check it and make sure that it's at least 165 uh, degrees Fahrenheit on the inside to know that it's done. but I'm ready to eat okay I plated my pasta and of course being the cheese freak that I am you know I'm gonna go ahead and shave some more uh, Parmesan cheese and Reggiano cheese on top of my shrimp and pasta right before I toss in a few pieces of that crispy golden fried whiting right next to it thank you once again for clicking play make sure you come back same place next time and if you got a recipe you think i should try make sure to leave it in the comments below peace out